Hey YouTube, it's Honeybear. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video about the latest update that came out. Um, beta's been out for about a week, but the official version's updated now. So if you haven't updated, go update. Um, not a whole lot was really released, but there's enough for me to make a video about it. So the first thing that I think is probably the most useful thing uh, it's probably gonna be this preset update for your equipment sets. Um, but let me just kind of run through everything. So first of all, castle skin march effects. So we all kind of expected there was gonna be a Valentine's Day event. Um, we thought it would be happening during Kingdom vs. Kingdom. That appears to not be the case. It's possible they're gonna wait until the actual 14th, which is I guess okay. Um, it could be that there's a problem with the event, so they haven't released it, but uh, most likely once the Valentine event actually comes out, you'll see a new $200 skin for the castle, another $50 skin, probably be the 10% stats and the 5% stats on the march. Um, they'll probably look dumb as they always do, um, but you know, it's there in case you really want more skins, there you go. Um, the thing that's going to be probably useful to most people is that there's new stages. You know, the Lord EXP will help you T4 guys get to Lord 90. Um, they only mentioned the tower levels, but there is actually um, level runner levels as well. Um, so if you haven't done those, just go do them. Um, I won't do a video about them because they're so easy. Um, but yeah, there's new stages, so if you haven't played those, go play them. Um, I'll come back to the equipment item and I'll actually show what that looks like. Um, this is probably my favorite update out of all these. It's just a little quality of life thing, but it, it does make a pretty big difference and I'll show that in a moment. Optimized dragon movements. I don't really know what this is about. My guess is um, they have these like higher level ranks on the dragon now. And so you actually, the dragon looks different once you rank it up high enough. And so my guess is the latest model probably had some issue with it. And so I'm guessing that's what they mean by optimized dragon movements, because I, I can't see any difference with mine. Um, optimized relevant interface multi-lane gauges. Like, I don't know what that is. For all I know, this is what broke Holy City today, but I, I literally have no idea what this means. Um, fix some bugs, improve gaming experience. I would say they've added more bugs, in my opinion. Um, one bug that I get a lot is I'll do the um, the daily like tower games where you like play the custom stages and it like freezes after the first one like almost every time. Um, but you know I'm glad they're updating the game. I mean they're, we're, they're definitely making enough money to do it, so I, I appreciate anything that they work on. Um, I just have no idea what this is actually referring to. It'd be nice if there was some detail, but. Who knows? Uh, so let's circle back to this item here, which is the equipment presets. They say Lord presets, which at first I had no idea what the heck they were talking about. So let's take a look. So yeah, let's look at the, uh, the equipment here. So you just go to your Lord screen, go to this little, if you didn't even know this existed, this lets you have presets for equipment and gems and stuff. And before there's it just said preset one preset two and now you can actually update the name so now we got you know i have a darkness one i have a pvp one in the past i'd played around with like cab and pike and stuff but it just didn't really go good enough so, you know, i don't want to invest the money so you honestly only need two sets one for darkness and one for pvp you could have a third as like if you have like a counter or something but yeah, so, and I'll just kind of quickly show my preset. So let me just apply the dark nest. So for dark nest, I have this infantry helmet because it has imp defense. It actually works better than the Sir Arms helmet. And then I got the Sir Arms sword, gloves, boots, ring. Um, and then I got the uh, KVK Sanctum chest armor. That helps with the losses because it has infantry defense. And then I have, you know, I'm, I'm basically prioritizing the defense on my uh, darkness set. But then if I go back and switch, I can apply my PvP set here. And I go back to the equipment. Uh, 
here. I basically have Fulster Arms because it gives you more attack. And then instead of infantry defense, I'm prioritizing the archer attack. So, you know, as I level this up, I can get more attack, but yeah. So that, that's the idea with these. So it's a nice little change that you can label these. Makes it a lot less confusing. I mean, obviously after a while, I just memorize it, but, uh, but yeah, so I think that's a good change. Um, so yeah, that's the, uh, that's the update. Hope you guys, uh, find that useful if you want more content like this let me know and uh if you like the content give it a like um and yeah hope you guys have a good day see you later